Hey, Brian from Garage from Hall. Today I have the Innova 6100P and uh, you got to check engine light here. Um, I absolutely love this thing. So anyway, you got to locate your OBD2, which is on this Hyundai Accent. It's right here. So you plug the scanner in. And then, let me get the right angle because I had so much trouble with the glare on this before. Okay, there we go. So, once it's hooked up, it's going to start looking for whatever errors you have. And like I said, we have a check engine light on here. And this has a bunch of things going on with it. So, it's got a knock sensor, one circuit range. And why that's happening on this is um, they lost oil, mainly because... They drove over something it looked like a stick or a piece of rebarb or something and it came up and it hit the um oil filter and it caused like a pinhole leak in it so the car lost a lot of oil so it had a bunch of strange errors come up and i'm not saying this is the only uh the only reason but anyway let me just show you what the scan is so it's a nova 61p and so that's the one error and then it's basically just kind of like scroll through and you can see everything that's going on with this so you have the evaporative emission systems, small leak, uh, intake crank, shaft position, timing drive, advance, exhaust cam camshaft position time. Ooh, tongue tied today. So some of these errors have been in there for a while because the car does have 134,000 miles. And some of the repairs look like they had been done, but they may have never cleared the errors out. So you hit that button there and you hit this and it'll basically it'll clear oh and so it tells you what to do so basically you can't have the engine running so just turn it back and we're going to turn it into the ignition on system and let's try that again so okay so it says erase was successful so let's start the car and see how your check engine light went out and all your lights reset. So it's going to do another scan again. And this is basically going to tell you anything that's permanent that was not repaired or needs immediate immediate repair. So you have the evaporative emission system leaks detected very small. So that's still showing up even though you're not going to have a check engine light on that. And if that had been repaired, um, it will actually go away. On its own after a couple of starts and miles depending on the cycle of your car but this also does a lot of amazing things too so you go into this other menu and you can actually do an abs test and then it's going to just double check your car hit automatic is that your car yes so it checks your abs system uh nothing on the dash so that's good so that's cleared there's no issues anyway. So we're going to go back in. And then this is your airbag. And believe it or not, I had a lot of problems with like this little airbag system on a lot of these cars. Cars in general at my shop. Let me let that focus again. But you go into your system, Hyundai SRS, and it's going to tell you if there's any errors or not. And sometimes it's as simple as you might have like a seat malfunction pad error for the... Uh, the SRS system and this little computer will reset it again I love this this is like my go-to scanner and if you go in here you get like a bunch of oil like uh, you have an oil reset DLC locator battery alt alternator um, monitoring system drive cycle I mean this thing does so much it's crazy but anyway uh, absolutely love this thing this is probably a step up from um, those other OBD2 scanners that you're going to get. This one is probably your uh, mid-grade mechanic version. Um, but at this price point, I mean, you can't go wrong. This thing does everything you're going to need to do. So if you're just like a, a regular mechanic, backyard mechanic, uh, you know, your household mechanic, you got a bunch of cars or trucks in your fleet, this is definitely the, uh, the scanner that you want to get before you uh, go to those higher level ones. And like I said, I have a... Uh, I have a pretty extensive garage that I do repairs on with my lift and stuff. And uh, this is all I've been using. This is all that I need. And it gives me tons of information. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. Uh, but anyway, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thanks for watching. And uh, 
be safe out there.